we return to the adventures of Archibald Lord Windsor Flipping Tofty Del Appiano of Ferrara. Yesterday, we were adopted by this nice young lady half our age who now makes us call her mummy and do all sorts of strange sponge baths with her. More importantly, I decided that now we are a, a landless, a landless noble, which is definitely a step above uh, a landless nobody. We deserved a flag. I had the finest court architects and court painters set to work on what I can only describe as a masterpiece. It, it's up there with Da Vinci in terms of uh, in, in terms of artistic integrity, in terms of bringing a tear to my eye. That would do it. Archibald Law wins a flip tofty. I feel has now ascended to the true rank of uh, of landless. Now, granted, we've still got a lot of work to do here. Now, I'm going to recording last episode and this one. The dev of Rise to Power got in touch with me over Discord and basically pointed out certain things about uh, certain things about the mod that I might have missed. For example, certain incompatibilities, which I think I've almost fully patched over at this stage. Certain other mods, I had to do a whole bunch of a whole bunch of notepad editing to get everything up together. Uh, but I think I think we're in a state now where everything everything should be working fine. So things like matrilineal marriages that we couldn't do previously, we should now have full access to. So that you know we don't get a game over. The devil also said as well that we can uh, we can nominate a, a non-dynastic successor too, and this should also work. I believe this is another conflict with the Jewish Kings mod. We can nominate a dynastic successor, a non-dynastic successor, and be able to carry on the game even if we do get a game over. So say for example, uh, we have only have a daughter that we marry off to a nobleman. They have a kid. I'm not sure, or, or not necessarily a nobleman, but let's say they don't get matrilineally married for whatever mechanical reason, then we could play as their kid still. Granted, we lose, I imagine, our our house and everything, be working our way back up from nothing. But hey. That should work fine now. Archibald, Lord Winds of Flippy Tofty of Ferrara. Let's see what we've got going for us now. Adam? Who the hell are you? Oh, you're my son. Oh, sorry. Uh, Jew, Legitimized Bastard. I remember you. You're the one from the... Right, so from our other second second wife, I should say. I remember that. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, I feel like we need to give him a different name, huh? He kind of stands out, but... Greetings, I am Citizen Archibald, Lord Winds of Flippy Tofty de Appiano. This is my son. Boris Doherty Mog von Archibald de Piano, and my other son, Adam. It's a bit, it's a bit lackluster, I'm going to be honest. Let's give you a new name, Adam. I'm so sorry. Seven years old, no one will miss it. I'm going to call you Sir Digby Chicken uh, Caesar. C Caesar? I don't know if you spelled it that way. There we go. Sir Digby Chicken Caesar de Piano. A good fit. A good fit for the dignity. Now, bear in mind, we don't have to stick around in Ferrara. We could fuck off to, to uh, literally anywhere else. I am very tempted. If we are playing with Jewish Kings, well, of course, we are playing as a, a Jewish man, a learned exile here, who's, who's just finally climbed his way up that social ladder. I think we should start heading over to Jerusalem. The one thing I've noticed as well is that uh, the the Catholics are pretty pretty prolific right now. They managed to take a nice chunk out of Northern Africa there with their various crusades. Spain is actually still hanging on, despite the fact there haven't been any reconquistas or anything like that. So... I mean, this could open up some doors to us, bearing in mind that we would need to obviously go to war with this gigantic, sunny, Seljuk blob that's over here. Um, and then also the, the Burid as well. So we would need to carve our way through there. If their moral authority gets lowered, then that's, that's just good news for us. Also with Egypt, I thought they'd be like a crusader state in VHRE. Nah, it's currently uh, a Danish Egypt under, a, under an Iberian Cathar man. God knows what's happened there. Ah, a letter from my good friend... A Herzogy Dietrich of Ferrara, definitely how you pronounce that. Has decided to go hunting tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we can join him, sure, why the fuck not? Um, so we just get piety for that one. I suppose if we're lacking in piety, which we kind of are, but I think prestige is the important thing right now. Yeah, let's do it. I'm not a big fan of that 1% chance of dying all the time, I'll be honest. Oh, we're back from Sword. Right, okay, cool. So, I was also told, fighting in the arena, if we are... If, if we do well, has a chance of giving us a gladiator trait. So I, I assume we have to win with it, right? Um, but that would be a nice way to also buff up our stats a little bit there, seeing as we're starting as a zero trait, zero stat man again. Um, might be good to try and round off the edges, bring in as much money as possible so that our son, who's actually going to get a formal noble education, more importantly, oh my god, he's good at stewardship and martial. Boris Doherty, Mog von Archibald de Appiano, you've, you've exceeded my expectations, my young lad. Uh, Marshall? What's the other kid coming out like? Uh, pretty good. I mean, he's got Willful, which is obviously good for Marshall as well. But that could become shrewd. And what was this kid like? So he's got Playful, which becomes Gregarious. I mean, Rowdy, which becomes Brawny. Hopefully, maybe not Dull. Uh, Conscientious Patient. Oh, it's Diligent. Sorry. And then Brooding Just. Yeah, all of those are insanely good traits. Um, I'm going to go with Marshall. I still... Although, we're, we're noble now. Maybe maybe Bookkeeping would be a better education for him. You know what? No. He's going to follow in his father's... Cell Sordery and tournaments got us to where we are. If it wasn't for that joust that we fought in, we wouldn't even be... We wouldn't have been accepted into this noble house. It worked for us, and it worked for him, damn it. We're going for the boomer attitude. Arts and witnessing your spectacular works hired mercenary. Condottieri Rodolfo offers you a permanent cell sword. Uh, I mean, we've got heirs now, so I think we should roll with this. 
I think I think we should take. Oh shit, that's a that's a nice amount of cash. There's no reason not to do it anyway. Uh, just because the amount of gold it will give us, obviously, we can always retire and then come back. Now. The dev explained one of the big things that was confusing in the past couple of episodes was that whenever we were, you might remember, being moved out of court and we suddenly had no leech, that was actually the Jews being expelled. And we're, of course, Jewish. There was no event that just popped up on our screen to say, by the way, you've been kicked out, Chief. Apparently, that's been changed now, so we should be notified when the Jews are expelled from there. I suppose that's a risk of also playing a Jewish character as well and a bit more difficulty onto things there. Uh, ah, my good friend Herzog, Dietrich of Ferrara, has organized a noble feast. I am a nobleman. I will feast nobly with you, my good man. How for boat my gra- What? Who? My 46-year-old grandmother? I have some questions. Oh, it's my adopted mother's mother. Disappeared without a trace. Where did she go? Leonardo, is there something you're not- ta My grandfather, my glorious grandfather Leonardo, who's barely 10 years older than me. Where did your wife go? That's a bit- not. That's not very cash money. Oh, society as well. What are we part of right now? Uh, I've, I've been told that the diplomacy society is pretty good. I assume it's a diplomacy one, right? Yeah, I've been told that that one's the most fleshed out one, so we should definitely try and join that one at some stage. And then it's just basically one per stats. You've obviously got marshals, stewardships, learning, blah, 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 blah. We'll stick with the round table, though. I think our guy deserves a bit more, a bit more training to kick things off here. Why don't we, uh, why don't we untick, uh, that one, or re-enable that one, I should say, so we can rank up in our society. We're not exactly super powerful, but I think we can run the risk with two sons, you know, of potentially getting our ass handed to us and dying. Let's also request some military training here. Oh, no. Oh, the allure of the gamble is too strong. Oh, don't make me do it. The loot boxes. This is what we need in CK3, by the way. Gamble, like, real life money. You put two quid into the game, and then you, you know, chance of gaining a county or something like that. Paradox. Hope you're paying attention. Uh, should we buy a wall? Buy a wall or gamble it all away? Obviously, I've got to do it, right? Sitting across the table, I see... Albarad getting ready for a friendly wager. All in? No, you don't want to do that. 10% chance of 60 gold. 20% chance of, of breaking even. Okay, that's quite nice. I mean, it's even. It, it's. Oh, no, it's... Oh, yeah, no, it is even. Okay. Uh, a few coins to spare. We don't want, don't want to bet the house. Go on, bet the house. It's the Duke's wife. It's my good friend, Herzogi Dietrich the Cold. Uh, all in. Do it. Come on. Come on. Give me, give me that gold. Well, I need a wall. Oh! <gasps> We fucking hit the big big money there, boys. Was that that was the 60, wasn't it? What were we on before? 75? I'm up for it. I mean, obviously it wasn't 60 gold if we were on 75 before, because you know, maths. That's fine. Hey, not only can we buy a wall, we can buy a mine. Oh, that's gotta be bringing some cash, huh? Let's take a look. Uh let's see what that updates to then. So we got mansion now. Uh yeah, monthly wealth 0 0.2. That's quite nice. Strong for our remember the name of Fresco. So I think what we're gonna do is is basically go between being a temporary set or a permanent cell sword you know just sort of being a bodyguard around ferrara and then also going for mercenary work now it's also told that one of the cool things we can do is if we're offered to join in a holy war fighting in those holy wars gives us a chance of gaining the religious holy war trait now i don't know for us if we're fighting say a christian holy war i would assume we just still get the jewish uh you know holy war trait like christians get crusader etc i see we can't get crusader for fighting in a christian holy war no idea but we'll test it out next time i, th I think our man's ready for some serious combat Ah, oh, yes, a classic choice between, what is that, brave and dull. Oh, it's a tricky one. Hang on, let me let me think about this one for a second. I think I'm going to go with brave. It's attempted. Oh, it's only a chance. He might actually still become dull. If you become dull, I am fucking throwing you straight in the ocean, young man. Oh, Christ almighty. Why do I even bother? Why do I even bother? Uh, oh, we want to go for, yeah, yeah, lose some piety, but gain some, that's fine. Yeah, give, give me the gold. Um, oh, come on. He was looking so good there for a minute. Like, the perfect martial education, all the perfect stewardship education. He's now an idiot. His character isn't sharp. As oh, we can get rid of that, though, but it's such a penny us trying to do it. Well, so Digby Chicken Caesar actually might come out uh, shrewd, don't forget, which will make him so much better than his brother, even if his education isn't necessarily as good. His base stats just might be so much better. Um, man, I want to focus on you now. I'm gonna, I might make you honorary heir. Oh, we can make him our squire, because we're part of the... Should have thought about that one. Uh, so what Squire will do, for those of you who haven't played the Orders of Chivalry mod, will basically convert points from other stats into Marshall. So at the first level of Squire, you say lose a little bit of diplomacy, but you gain like minus one diplomacy plus two Marshall. Uh, the next rank of, of Squiring, you'll gain minus one stewardship, but another plus one Marshall, if that makes sense. So it's almost like taking stats from your other traits, uh, from your other skills, sorry, and, and putting them into just solely Marshall. So if you're building a Marshall character, like I was kind of planning on doing, it's actually not a bad idea. Um, you still only got three Marshall now, huh? God, I can't, I can't abide by that, can I? Honestly, it just disgusts me. If I, if I see him in court, I will just vomit. I'll vomit everywhere. There you go. So, Digby Chicken sees you are now my squire, uh, which is also an honorary title I believe we can give out as well then. So, let's let's uh, let's nominate him. You're, you're fired. Welcome. So, Digby Chicken sees a Diapiano. Welcome, my friend. 
So we can try and rank up. Now, we could. To be honest, I think we're going to fail any duel we ever try and fight. We can, as it says there, if we have 1,000 glory and 250 prestige, we can bypass it. I feel like we probably just should bypass it. We're already a noble. So, you know, we've got a bit more sway in things. If we ask for a duel, we're going to get our ass handed to us. We've got 38 personal combat. What, what are we looking at? So we're a novice right now. Let's see someone around our points and just sort of try and work out whether or not we would get slaughtered. Uh, where, where, where is we? There we is. Uh, 134. So let's say, for example, I know this dude here. Kind of close. 16. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not good. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's an end value of one right now. So that's not exactly, uh, it's not, it's not exactly a good test, is it? Let's check you out. 12. All right. I'm in. 64. Of course, we get the cover. Fucking 64. Um, <laughs> do we have a sword? We have nothing. Does he have a sword? He has nothing as well. It's a fist fight, but he's wearing a helmet. So are we. You're dead. You are so doomed, my friend. I'm going to skip the dual engine because the regular dual engine does take quite a long time. And to be honest, we're probably going to lose either way. Do it. We were defeated. The referee stopped the fight and declared your opponent as the victor. Your challenger will not go down in ranks, but you lose dual initiated. It's still shameful. We lose 150 glory, 50 prestige. I'm just going to fucking skip it. We're a noble. We don't have to put up with this shit. Cook had prepared a magnificent meal with lots of different fruits, various kinds of sweet meats, and plenty of fresh baked bread with several mature cheese. Just lots of food. Uh, a huge amount of food. you got to bear in mind, Archbold, he's a man of the streets. You know? He's, he's a man of the streets. He's lived there all... No, he's a man of the streets as in, like, you know, he, he was an orphan. He was, he was a homeless orphan before taken in by this nice family. He's never seen so much food in his life. Do you think he'd be temperate? I didn't think he'd be temperate. I think my man would gorge himself. This is a noble lifestyle. He's never known food like this. Do it. He's gluttonous. It suits him. Well fed as well. Gives him another 0.5 health. Now, I noticed earlier that Jewish also gives plus one health. So with that stack, if we could stack that up with, say, strong and brawny and crap like that too, our guys are going to get invincible. This is nuts. All right. Uh, oh, my good friend, Her Hers OG, Dietrich and Ferrara, has organized a feast for the Lobo Of course. Another feast, you say? Now, speaking of Citizen Archibald, Lord wins a flipping top for Tidia Piano of Ferrara being an absolute unit, we can also get into shape. Now, this... I've been told, is a scalable goal. So it's based on how much our income is, right? So if we do this one, it loses 100 glory because it's based on the society, but it can give us fertility and things like that. So, I mean, this could be a good way to not only secure some heirs, but might actually allow us to uh, gain some personal combat as well. We're trying to get in shape. We're trying to get jacked for the new year because it's 2020 after all. Your companions train every day to stay in shape and be about to battle for the battle, battle, battler's notice. Thank you. Start running with lifting with heavy rocks. We didn't get anything from that one. You have to keep doing it over and over because, of course, he does like his food. So it's going to take a while before we can actually turn him into a mighty Adonis. Rank up again? No, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. Now, I, the reason I'm doing that is because it will give us access to a whole new bunch of things. Hire a warrior commander so we can actually invite big brain play, invite someone to court. There we are. Okay, we're fine. Invite someone to court who... What's our court size right now? We can just have someone in our mansion. Oh, we have a lot of people, of course, in our court. I forgot about it. We have, like, our gardener or whatever the fuck she was. Uh, was it you? Yeah, our our architect. She's living with us as well. I guess she's planning out all the mansion and her husband and whatnot. We could invite one of those warrior lodge commanders to our court to train our kids, because our guy has no formal education. He also hasn't got much good martial training. So we can invite one of those guys to actually train the kids in our court with their skill set, because obviously no one else is going to join us, right? That, I think, is a great idea. Oh, we can't. Why? Am I blind? Get into shape. We can raise an army. That's interesting. If we're at war and we have a thousand glory, we could just raise some troops around mansion. That's nice. Uh, what? Sorry, hire a warrior commander. Spend uh, prove leadership trait. Yeah. Can we not do that if we're unlanded, maybe? I mean, that would make a lot of sense. Huh? Like, what armies have we got to command? Okay, fair enough. Well, that, that's that plan on its ass already. Uh, what? Something popped up then. Did you see that? Oh, pray. Yeah, okay. I pray for a warrior commander. Did it work? Uh, what did we get? Learning favor. No, it didn't work. So maybe the best notification I've ever had in CK2. So Digby Chicken Caesar has improved as a squire. Okay, so the, you can see there he gets the, the, the rank page now, which, like I said, lowers the stat, gains another, gives him some personal comments. Oh, which I actually didn't realize. Um, Idolizer. Uh, zealous or erudite, good, but frail for a martial character. Almost as bad as dull. Uh, Rowdy obviously becomes brawny. If we get, like, brawny and then, what, like, zealous, that'd be quite a nice combo. Shrewd as well. And ambitious. That would be all the best combination there. That would actually give him a lot of stats just by itself, let alone his education. Now, his education is not going to come out well. Don't get me wrong. Unless, are we, like, patient or... Oh, we are patient, though. Okay. You know what? It actually might not be as bad as I thought. So, can we avoid this one, too? We can. We need 500 prestige and 2,000 glory. It's going to take a long time. And I'm certainly not getting into combat. I'd love to buy a weapon or something, though. Uh, no members have a spare weapon available. How can we get a weapon as an unlanded character? Um... Well, we can't search for it. We're going to have to try and steal it from someone. And if we're going to try and steal from someone, we need a man on the inside. Is there any of these landed nobles sort of around for our with artifacts? Two things of St. John. Uh, we can't steal that because of... Oh, because we're away from court. 
We can steal artifacts. We just need someone who is... Um, so I believe because we have a lover now, that actually counts as a, valuable, uh, a viable target to take with us on a heist. So we'll have to test that when he comes home from his cell sorting. Well, I was not expecting that. Maybe it was a bit quick to judge poor young Boris Donati, Mogbon, Archibald, Diapiano. He actually came out skill tactician, which is quite rare given that he was also... Uh, Oh, God, okay. So we've got a choice of beating up our child, which, to be fair, given that he's dull, it might be what he deserves. He's really good, actually. Temperate, ambitious, just gregarious. Dull is the only sort of stain on him right now. Oh, damn, that's not that's not bad. Don't get me wrong. This is our first generation from our zero stat character. That, I think, is our, a massive, massive improvement, even if he does have dull. Um, obviously, we'll give him, he's already got gregarious, so we might as well stick with that. How's our other kid coming out, then? Uh, he needs an education right on time there. So he does have Idolizer, which does act against the martial education. But he does have quite a strong chance of also coming out a level three character. Um, chance of becoming, obviously... Uh, what's the top one again? Brilliant strategist. There you go. The chance of becoming a brilliant strategist is... is very difficult at this stage. I'm just trying to add up the numbers here. If we had patient, it would be reachable, but it's still very, very unlikely. Um, or if we have the, the other trait that we don't have. If we have diligence, sorry, along with patient, or if we had shrewd or quick or genius or anything like that. Um, all right, let's go for it. Let's, let's see if he can beat his brother. Think about this, you big fool. Oh, come on, Archibald. Why do you need to think about this? <clears throat> Novice, that Greek man, has issued an official drill request approved by the tournament organizers. Uh, if he wins this, we lose our rank. He's got 31 personal combat. We have 43. He might have made a mistake here. So we can say, bring my sword, and then we fight the sort of rock, paper, scissors style system. Uh, I do not feel so well. We were ranked down to novice. We lose the glory and prestige, but of course, we don't risk our lives. Or, Archibald Lord wins a flipping top tier for our does not stand down. Not before a man with less personal combat. Get roasted. Oh my god, we actually won. That's impressive. We gained get some glory and prestige. That's very nice. I've already seen your spectacular work as hired mercenary. Are we home now? Is that, is that... Oh no, we're not quite yet. Uh, oh, no longer affecting us. I'm going to say yes, but we're not going to go away from court for a while because obviously we want to, you know, carry on doing some stuff here. Fighting the arena, gambling. We want to... We're actually home for a while. Let's embrace it for a little bit, huh? Maybe not the gambling. Oh, but it's done so well. You can't... Look, the odds are 50-50. If you went to a casino and the odds were 50-50, that would be the best fucking casino in the world, huh? I see casino getting ready for a friend... I just, I just call it casino. Casino. De Horteville. Let's, let's do it. All in. Oh, I'm bankrupt. I just lost 50 gold. Oh, I lost 50 gold. What am I going to say to my wife? Sir Hilda the Handsome. Sir Hilda, I'm so sorry. I'm so... I, look, it not, I didn't win this time, but we were close. And next time, we'll definitely get him. Uh, right, let's buy a garden. We'll also buy a library. Oh, okay. Buy a painting. That doesn't seem very helpful. All right, uh, let's try and get into shape again. No, he's still burning fat. He's still not there yet. Okay, fair enough. Could find the arena. Try and pay off some of our gambling debts. Let's do it. And who's this scrub? Anselm. He's also a gladiator. I wonder if you do get, per like, characters with personal combat that's similar to your own. Or at least within a particular range of your own, because that way it's always fair, right? Um, even then, we're still going to kick his ass. <gasps> what? Anselm has already managed to thrust his spear expertly, piercing through my chest when he lets out an angry grunt. Sorry, are they... Dueling? Oh, right, yeah. Before I know it, I am begging for mercy, but he is beyond reasoning. The last thing I hear is the shocked gasp of the crowd and a soft thud, which could only be my head hitting the ground. Then, there was nothing. I'm upset. I'm devastated. You you can go suck a caterpillar dick. That's ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. We had so... <sighs> All right, all right, so who, are we, who are we nominating? So we can, at the very last minute here, if we feel like it, nominate. You want to... Boris wants to construct a wonder. Uh, anything related to... Oh, no, that's not about a wonder, but only passion related to anything construct... You know, I'm going to go for it. Only because he's got just gregarious and ambitious. If he didn't have those three traits, uh, this kid came out fucking frail. They're both failures. They're both failures in their father's eyes. You know, he died a twisted... Angry, bitter man that both of his sons fell. He went from nothing to noble, and these boys are letting him down. Unreal. Lord Archibald wins. A, sorry, Archibald Lord wins a flippy toffy. Dapiano has ascended to heaven at the age of 40. He was slain by Anselm in personal combat. Known as an inspired and insightful poet, was he? Archibald Lord wins a flippy toffy. Delighted in many in his court with his moving verses. Uh, he hi diddle dee dee. Fuck, I'm dead. Boris Doggerty, Do Doggerty Monk von Archibald. Well spoken now, going with expect Boris Doggerty von Mon Archibald, whatever his name is, to have no problem charming the court to his side. Long live. And his name is Space Boris. Space Boris, welcome. Okay, um, what is that then? Minus. Oh! 
Holy shit, look at that. Oh, and I personally might not have picked that one, seeing as it's fucking permanent. Um, Boris Dorothy Mog Von Archibald of Ferrara's burning patch for anything related to construction. Can it be cancelled? Minus 5% construction cost and plus 5% construction speed. I wonder how they fulfill that then. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, well, here we are. Let's see if we can get married. We are a nobleman, so there should be plenty of... Hmm. My father's ex-wife. She, she is in our court. Why not? We're going to marry our father's ex-wife. She's not our mother. Uh, she's our mother in, like, name. As in, when our character was a child, he probably called her mummy. Just as our father called his... My 29-year-old grandmother. Our mother... Oh, God, this is so confusing. The same age as our grandmother. Who's also now our wife. Our stepmother, I should say. It's everyone's... No, it's no one's... Cause nobody shall ever know about this. This is a secret marriage. Okay. Um, should we get the family folks in to start off with a seduction? Seduction? I should have seduced her first. You always seduce the stepmother before you marry her. That's... <sighs> okay, fine. Um, fight in the arena. We could we could avenge our father, and Selm. Mark him, mark him a special entry. Invite him to court. He's not up for it. Where is he? He's he's in Ferrara. Oh, interesting. Could we kill him? Twelve point one percent. Hopefully, we'll meet him in the arena. He is a gladiator, after all. So maybe maybe we will face him down. We will avenge you. Fifteen personal combat. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Get him with the round table for glory. Now, in between. Archibald Doherty's many adventures. I marked some interesting targets for potential heists. Now, the issue is we haven't got a lover or a friend or anything now, so we're not going to have any, any friends coming to help us with this. There is, I, uh, using the, the very cool artifact. It's not artifact search mod because that one adds traits. This one's Iron Man friendly. It's a very cool mod. uses uh, localization to it instead. You can basically type in uh, the, the quality of the item you're looking for. So let's say, for example, quality 5. That'll bring up these are all the characters with quality 5 items. So this guy has the Blessed Mantle. This guy here has the uh, Rights Crown, etc, etc. Uh, using that, I've been able to track down a couple of characters who have weapons that either aren't equipped or aren't equippable. For an example, this lovely lady here has the Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch, which uh, you can throw when the number reaches something I don't remember. A strange artifact that possesses tremendous power may its enemies tremble before its holy wrath. It is holy wrath. Some artifacts have conditions, yeah, you just have to be able to, oh, you have to be Christian? Well, it's fucking racist. Uh, but this kid, though, this kid has a fancy sword. Um, gives stewardship plus three damage. Why stewardship and damage? What a weird combination. I suppose as if you want to, I don't know, lead armies? I have no idea. Anyway, the point is we can steal it and we could steal his armor too. Question is, though, can we actually do it without an accomplice? No, okay, so we need to uh, fall in love, make a friend, you know, uh, persuade someone at his court, try and try and win some win some allies here. So why don't we go into his court, and why don't we make friends with, like, a spy master or something like that? That would be a good idea. Um, uh, vassals, maybe, it says on there? Excuse me, I need your spy master? Uh, courtier, courtier, ray, duke, duke, bishop, mayor, uh, pr principe, I have no idea what that is. His regent could be a good idea. Rurikid? What? <laughs> okay, don't don't worry about it. Look, weird things going on right now. All right, so I'm going to sway or not. Oh, my God. It has to be in the same round. Ugh. Okay, so we'll try and make friends within our own realm. And then we'll take those guys with us. We'll sail across the Mediterranean. And we'll go and steal some uh, some lovely items from Egypt. But our wife, mother. She'll do. This it must be what they were talking about. So there is talk on the streets that the heathen Al... The, 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 the Caliph. Abdul Jalil has declared a great holy war on Bubali Ahmet of Bubali. People have been flocking in defense of Bubali Azmet of Basra with many pious zeal. So look, we can gain 200 piety. We gain Kanai, which is the Jewish uh, crusading trait. And there's 15 percent. Is that it? We just get 15 percent chance of being wounded. That's a great deal. What's this one? Jihad for Arabia. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'll defend my faith. I don't think this is a war against our faith, but I guess it's... I have no idea. Anyway, there it is. Kanai is a term for uh, zealot or fanatic. They fight for the Jewish faith. Mar Marshal plus two. Personal combat skill plus ten is already very, very nice. Perfect. I'll take it. We're immediately away. I feel like this wasn't a good idea. We do have an heir in the form of our brother, but it's a bit of a bit of a dangerous play. Boris, what the fuck do you mean you feel fatigued? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, he's fine. Okay, he was just a bit tired. It's a combat. It's a combat. It'll do that to you, okay? He's fighting in a holy war. It's, it's understandable that you feel a little bit fatigued, and you are definitely not going to die. Perhaps it's time I asked Sir Hilda to spend some time with me. I'll ask her. Sir Hilda, oh, she's up for it. She's up for it. Uh, you're planning a visit filled me with purpose. Well, that's it. We're trying to fill her with... I obligate all my obligations as a, as, as a host. Change opinion by 10. Oh, they're both the same. Fine. Good. You know, as long as we're winning over, that's the important thing. Wait, we like her by 73. Oh, because she's attractive and gregarious. Both true, both gregarious, prestige, personal diplomacy. Yeah, okay. So we've got to try and win her over. She already likes us quite a lot, which is normally the issue, because, of course, you can't really increase your character's opinion in CK2 of other characters, which doesn't really make too much sense. Uh, Dietrich II of Ferrara has announced off some affair. I have some stuff to sell. Yeah, I'm not I'm not above that. 
Oh, shit. The Christian lords gather from all across the world to bring Jerusalem into the fold of the Christian kingdoms. That's interesting because this guy's also at war. Oh my god, what has happened? I mean, it's good news for us. The more chaos and turbulence there is in the Middle East, eventually we might actually be able to do something about it. Wait, did it... What is this going on here? French? Under... Wait, Jerusalem? They still have the kingdom of Jerusalem. I guess they're... They're, they're targeting, the obvious, obviously, the du jour. That's so weird. I've gone as what's happened there. Maybe there was already a holy war that I missed, and they're trying to get it all back again. And here come the Christians. So all of their holy orders just formed as well. So we, wait, improved as a squire? Who's he squiring under? No one? Is it just because he... Wait. Oh, maybe we marked him as a squire before, and where he joined the society immediately, he didn't lose the title. So he's, he's still technically our squire. Makes a lot of sense. We should be educating him in that case, because he's already got 11 marshals. He's actually coming out okay. Um, ambitious, brave is quite nice. Talking about frail again. It's only minus one marshal, though. And if that becomes shrewd, then he's still going to be better than our current character. We should we should be focusing on educating this kid. Uh, let's let's pile off to Sir Hilda to start off with. She's diligent and quick, which is great for education. We will come back and take over his education when we when we come home, though. Well, I think we're finally home from our many many holy wars, jobs, whatever else here. I couldn't care less. Get the hell out of here. Right, let's get rid of that. So why don't we spend some of this hard-earned cash as well? Oh, also educate our brother as well. Poor Sir Digby Chicken Caesar almost missed out on his education. Uh, let's go for even though despite the fact she was, she's almost guaranteed to end up with a... Wait, what? Why is she not educating him? Oh, she is. Right, there's only people you can. Um, She's almost certainly a better guardian. This says current guardian there is clearly main goal, but then it also says her. Who knows? Who knows? It's just weird CK2 shit. She will almost certainly give him a better education than we could, but that's not that's not the that's not the Dia Piano way. And then that is to educate your kids, even if you're garbage. Just like it worked for Archibald, it'll work for us, damn it. He's gonna come out terrible, isn't he? Right, we'll take all the No, we're away from court again. Damn it, I meant to spend some money first. Oh well. I take a good look at myself and thought about my weakness and strengths. After many hours of soul searching, I realized I have nothing to be ashamed of. I have many strengths but more weaknesses. Um what's a guy like? Ambitious, just, gregarious, temperate? He's ambitious, though. He has nothing to be ashamed of. He's a proud... Oh, actually came out okay. That's kind of a surprise. 15 Marshall. So, yeah, like I said, the, the Squire actually kind of worked out for us there. So, we, rather than being just an all-round mediocre character, he's kind of a shit character and everything. But Marshall, where he's actually very good, better than us in this scenario. Um, yeah, okay, not too bad at all. We should marry him off. We should absolutely marry him off. Uh, why has he got more marriage options than us? I guess because we're looking outside of court now. So, she is very good. Patient, diligent, genius. Whether or not they'll accept it, though. Oh, my God, they will. Pride price of $133, dude. She is a genius, though, so it might be worthwhile. Uh, go on, then. Go on. Fine. Don't make me regret this, brother. If you don't if you don't give me a, a suitable heir, if you don't you don't know how to build our dynasty here, you're going straight into the ocean. Boris Dorothy Mog von Archibald. I have the perfect opportunity for someone like you. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. You suggested we're an underhanded murderer. Minus 32 personal combat. This is the this is the one. Hunt the hunt the target. <gasps> yes, he actually didn't run. Theodoric hasn't run away and stands before you. This man is brave indeed to accept the challenge despite his obvious doom. This should be a... Oh, we're going to die, aren't we? Father. Father, I need your guiding hand. Well, maybe not, actually, because he was shit. No, Father, stay away. Stay back for glory or skip the jewel engine. You motherfucker. The ghost of fucking Archibald. We're dead. We are dead. All along, it was Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. Nobody expected it. Fuck. We should stop dueling. This is getting us murdered. How? Both of those jewels will be with a clear winner. Oh my god, okay. Sir Digby Chicken sees us. Surrounded by enemies and rivals. We hope that Sir Digby Chicken sees his rule is not struck. What the fuck is this ominous stuff, Paradox? Boy, we wouldn't be a shame if his rule were to be struck short by a dagger or maybe even being stabbed horribly in a duel. Fuck. Well, on the plus side, he's got a good wife. So we've got that going for us. Can we demand conversion? Uh, I guess not, huh? Fuck. Alright, well, what's his ambition? Religious interest? What are you talking? Look away. You know what? No, I'm not stooping to the level. I'm not, I'm not stooping. You know what? If, if my man, we said we were going to roleplay it, he's clearly interested in religion. I don't even know what plus 5% religion flexibility means, but we're going to roll with it. Okay, uh, again, seduction focus just for the sex appeal, the fertility, whatever else. Do we need to sway our wife? She is not a big fan of us, huh? Uh, all right, fine. Let's, let's, let's start working over her and then see if we can actually get a son. No cell sorting, no mercenary work, no infantry work, no nothing until we have an heir. Because this is, so, it turns out, that, whoa, they actually won. Holy fuck. England took, what, sorry? R room? What? <laughs> uh, why are they, wait, so they got the kingdom of Jerusalem and they are instantly a, a tributary of the Seljuks? Okay. 
Yeah, no, no, that's understandable, really. Fuck, there's what happened there. No, well, no, 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 we can't do it. The, the only reason I'm not doing that, a lot of people didn't understand why I was avoiding that. The people were saying it was free gold. It's minus 100% fertility. We don't have a, an heir of the original Archbold line. Granted, look, we can, we can carry on now because, of course, we play as various members of the Diapiano dynasty. But we want to, obviously, carry on as Archbold's line. That's the important thing here. So I'm not risking it. Not until we've got a son am I, am I willing to send this guy out to, out to die on the battlefield. So do we join the round table, uh, the Sicarii or the Sons of Zion? I think I'm going to go for the Sons of Zion. Now, I've been told that the, the Quarter Brothers is the most fleshed out, the Diplomacy side to be in the most fleshed out one. But to be honest, even just joining the Sons of Zion for the bonuses here, even if we don't get into too many jewels, even if we don't get, you know, into any sort of dangerous situations here, uh, as you can see there, the, the three are temporary boost to martial combat, uh, personal combat rating. It gives personal combat skill a martial, uh, allows you to lose frail, gain strong or combat rating. That's the important thing here. We can, we can get rid of Frail. This one gives us uh, the ability to heal from mangled, severely injured, or wounded, which is massive. Now, take a look at the uh, the actual passive modifiers there. At the top level, it's health minus one. Now, we get health plus one from Jewish, so we are in a rare situation where we're cancelling out the negatives and getting only positives, really, besides a month of piety, but we don't really care about the piety right now. So I think this society, even if there isn't particularly fleshed out with many missions or whatever, I think the, the actual passive bonuses we get make it more than worthwhile. Well, it's a shame we couldn't do it ourselves, but the Slayer of our father was also killed by, by this dude who was... Oh, they, they killed each other. I was going to say, we'll send him a reward from a, from a friend, but no, they, they finally killed... I'm, I'm glad that he's gone. Let's put it that way. We've avenged our father. Now we've got to avenge our fucking brother as well. Who killed him again? You. Mark him down. Mark He was a bounty hunter option, wasn't he? So we might just be able to go and hunt him when we want to join the society. Can't believe that. It's fucking minus 20 personal combat leper. Killed. Glorious... Whatever his name was. What was his name again? Sorry, Boris? Boris, that was it. Not liking the look of this massive enemy army slowly encroaching towards it. What, what's going on with this? Jerusalemite. Jerusalem. How the hell do you say that? Jerusalemite. Anti Roman. Anti Holy Roman anti paper war. Right, so they're trying to. What the? F what do you mean? Why have the Seljuks joined to depose an anti pope? Surely that will help with Christian moral authority. Fucking God knows. This is so weird. My young wife. Oh, this is good news. My young wife is taking. Wow, we should have married our mother again. Damn it. Should we marry her off? I suppose we, we might be able to do something with her. Uh, there's not much point. Let's just keep her around. Fuck it. My young wife has taken a passion for romantic poetry. She keeps reading any sort of old romantic poetry she can get her hands on. Lose 10 gold. It is a permanent plus 10% fertility, so fuck it. Why not? Um, obviously, a job as a pickpocket. It doesn't really suit a noble, but I mean, he's got to be so bored at this stage, right? Sitting around, waiting for his wife to get pergon at. Meanwhile, she won't even be in the same room as him. He's got, he, just wants, he just wants to pick a pocket. Let's do it. Let's get him out there. Let's, let's, at least I'm doing something with his time, huh? Ah, oh, shit. That doesn't look good. They are one province away. I don't think it'll affect us too much. Maybe we could be put in prison and killed. I have no idea. Uh, not for me. Sorry, we need a son first. Please, someone send help. Sweet Ferrara. Oh, God. We're so doomed. <laughs> They're not going to... Surely they can't just take random as prisons, can they? Okay, I think we're fine. They probably could, to be honest, because we just count as a courtier, huh? Teutonic campaign. Okay, good luck. Uh, you fancy turning those trips around and actually helping us here? Would you fuck off? Um, I think we're... I think we're okay. Yeah, no, we're good. The war's ended. Okay, fine. Um, for our... No, still no. We were... Oh, excuse me. I have a legitimate employment. Thank you. How dare you? <gasps> what do you want? Promotion opportunity? Ah, run a, a market stall as a peddler. Absolutely. We can peddle some crappy goods. Oh, minus 10% fertility. Yeah, it's fine. We are earning some gold. It'll happen when it happens, huh? A woman by the name of Sybil is looking for somebody to deliver goods to Guildmaster Birute in Zemmitia. Me too. Uh, we, we go on a journey, and this person... Who becomes our new leech? Uh, I don't know who that is. And and Tavas? That's got to be like what? Estonia? Lithuania? That's got to be... So, what is it? Excuse me? King Kosk, what have you done? King... King cost the what exactly? Unreal. What a, what a disgusting... Where are we going? Sorry, who are we moving to? I'm just going to just accept it. Where, where have we moved to? This fella. Ah, oh, Pomerania. Hey, look, I was close. So we just moved to Pomerania. We took our mansion with us, by the way. Just put it on the back of a cart and carried it along. I, I assume we liquidated our old assets, bought new... We're on a trading expedition. Maybe we come back. That's more likely, isn't it? Who, I don't know who Uti is, but she died in the dungeons. <gasps> Perganant. Wait, well, while we're away from court. I mean, I know it takes a few months before you kind of notice, but... Seems a bit, seems a bit suspect. Ah, oh, shit. You're pressing edit because, oh, right, we're fine. Sorry, I thought we were dying. Crouton is not responding to my, well, my name's not Crouton, but it is now. Sorry, Crouton. This is what you get. You should have responded to my letter and then I wouldn't name you after a tasty bread stuff. Get out of here. Crouton did not respond well to my letter, but, I mean, even if a kid's not ours, who cares? Honestly, who cares? I think we can turn a blind eye to it, right, for the sake of keeping the dynasty alive. Ah, there he is. 
Archibald Lord wins and flipping Toffany Diapiano. Uh, because of Paradox Games, he looks like neither parent. Good. Uh, sickly. Jewish, though. Uh, I mean, he's fucking genius. But more importantly, I've completely ignored the fact that he was genius. Uh, that's fantastic. We're going to name him Flipping Tofferty. Oh, we've named the son. Archibald Lord wins a Flipping Tofferty. Uh, junior. We're going we're gonna to actually go for the full-blown Junior. Not even JR. Not even the second. The full-blown... Oh, did I not put space in there? Well, you know what? That makes it look even better in some ways. Well then, young Archibald the second. Uh, let's go for... Oh my fucking god, look at that block of text. Let's train you in. Bear with me here. Now, bear in mind, Struggle has got three of our characters killed so far. Two of our characters killed so far. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Struggle. I just... There's just something about it. it just calls to me, you know? We, we do need to start not doing that. Especially when we become a landed noble. I think that's a little bit dangerous at that stage. Our well, trade expedition has ended. We've moved back to Ferrara, our home. I mean, we, we could have stayed up there, but I thought it just didn't make much sense. Uh, you know, moving halfway across this just because we got a... Just because we got employment? Shouts of war. <laughs> is he not a, does he not own a market stall? Come and buy my strawberries. Ah, Let's do it. Uh, did it... Oh, hang on. Oh, there's 25% chance to do that, say. Hang on. I thought I'd call that out of the corner. Damn it. Okay, we didn't even get our... It was a pathetic battle roll, though, I'll be honest. We've also got pet dog. The fuck to get a pet dog from? Job as a shop assistant. Oh, it's her again. Sybil de Horteville. Uh, the same one that shipped us off to the middle of nowhere. Fine, I'll take your offer. That seems like a pretty legitimate line of work. Bruton was so struck by my generosity and kindness as a host that just before departing, she tells me she feels indebted to me. Well, I have the perfect pay where you could repay me. How about another air? Can we can we use that? That'd be a fucked up mod. That would be a fucked up mod, wouldn't it? I'm sure that's somewhere. Theloverslab.com slash uh, call in a favor. Banking laws, no. Um, does that really affect us at all, though? Markets regulate. I, we can change. I mean, obviously, we don't have any any laws or anything to change. That wouldn't affect us. I just love that it's called no. So we need to nominate you, our successor. I, I think it'll just obviously default to him anyway, but we might as well put a vote in that one, seeing as he's our genius kid, after all. Am I willing to go away and be a mercenary now? Um, it's a lot of gold we are passing up, because not only do we get the good payment monthly, it's the flat cash up front. We can buy Let's buy a painting before we leave. Then we will go. We need to be able to afford our stable. So Hilda, the handsome, disappeared. Oh, wait, she was our mother. That's why we couldn't marry her. That makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, she disappeared without a trace. What the hell? She's gone as well. There's been loads of women being abducted from the continent. No. He died too? Shit. Well, there we go. He's also dead. And here's my friend. Let me send you a gift from my... 39. God, okay. Maybe not. If it was like two gold, that'd be different. I turned that off, didn't I? Did I not? Did I not turn that off? Oh, shit. I remember I set everyone into, like, hard mode. Significant, random, random, deadly, etc. Oh, f fuck. Well, we could move to the court of the Aztecs. We, we have a new god now. His name is uh, Huatlatani Mat Mat Matlal. Of the Aztec Empire. My good man. Let's start swaying him. Oh, he's not landed yet. Well, the second he lands, the second we within his realm, which probably won't be very long because it's the Aztecs. Um, they, oh, they're not exactly here early, so... I don't know. They actually might be able to put up a... They've got quite a united front on the uh, on the western coast there. We've got Norway and England and... I mean, the combination... Oh, my God. They're so powerful. Almoravid? What house? That was just House Almoravid. Yeah. Those guys have got quite a powerful defense against the Aztecs. Might have to worry about it. Thousands of exotic ships have arrived in the Golfo de Cadiz, spewing out numberless hordes of uvulating warriors and weird armor supporting feathers and bone. Gdu have mercy. Uh, is it like something in Judaism that you're not allowed to say God? I have no idea. Gdu have mercy. How many men's he got? 100,000. You know what? He's got to run for his money here, though. Where else have they landed? Uh, blah, 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 blah. The Minch. Okay. This is going to be interesting then. So 200,000 men. He's got a real fight in his hands, though. So Norway has 11,000 men. So almost certainly they're going to lose to him. What about. 39,000 men. Ooh, okay. It's going to be interesting. I, I feel like, the, I mean, obviously these guys are going to put up the best fight, but I still don't think they stand a chance. 25 Marshall, though. Has he got some... He, he himself has some really good traits. I don't know. Let's keep an eye on it. The, the Aztecs might not be as uh, as powerful as that. He's also got 30,000 fucking dollar reduce that he's not... Oh, well, spoke too soon. They got all of his troops instantly. Back from our battle brothering, we've been given the position of sellsword, which I think is, is probably the best job we could hope for, right? So we can stick with sellsword and not actually go out on any more battles until we've uh, until we've got maybe another son. Bear in mind that he is the only surviving line of glorious Archibald right now, so I definitely don't want to uh, definitely don't want to upset the apple cart too much. How's he doing, by the way? <gasps> there we go. Uh, oh, not fantastic. Affection and haughty. Haughty is just maybe the worst childhood trait ever. Affection is also not good for a martial education. Fuck. 
but he's genius. So, I mean, hey, that's good. And his mother is also genius and patient and diligent. So she is maybe the best educator we could afford for. In fact, I completely forgot to educate him. Uh, my, maybe we did. Maybe I left court. My bad. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, she's incredible. Like, like her traits alone are going to make this kid mediocre at worst, which I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Don't panic too much. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a group of soldiers, uh, invasion of Jerusalem. Okay, it's not holy war. Um, I mean, we could, but hands been rewarded with money or even a fife. That'd be good. Like a fife in Jerusalem is literally the whole point of this campaign. Do we roll the dice on everything? Do we roll the dice and everything? A return to Jerusalem, the place that we were actually trying to go for this entire time. Perhaps we do. Perhaps we will do. Tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you guys decide in the comments. You, you guys let me know what you would prefer. Whether you want me to carry on as an unlanded character for a little bit longer, keep fighting our way up, or try and fight this war. Bear in mind, it's not guaranteed, though. It's probably very unlikely that we'll get a fife. But there is a possibility. So bear in mind, this could be, if we if we take this up, this could tomorrow could be the last episode we're unlanded. So bear that in mind. I'll go by whatever is the most upvoted comment. How about that? And we'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave it down to the people's vote. Because either way, I'm invested. I'm invested in the glorious line of uh, Archibald at this stage. So I have high hopes for this. But I'm literally going to leave this event till then. It's all down to you guys to decide which direction we go. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Thank you to the dev as well for being incredibly supportive of this one. There are a lot of great developers out there and can safely say that Rise of Powers dev is is one of the the one of the devs that have really genuinely gone above the call of duty here to help support uh to help support the content. So much appreciation there as well. Thank you very much. More importantly, Thank you all for watching at home. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. Because without you guys, we wouldn't we wouldn't even be here making videos what we do. Thank you to the patrons for making it all possible in the first place. Without which I wouldn't be able to sit here and churn out a shitload of episodes. And mod a shitload of stuff into the game. It is the second of the month. Which means Patreon are currently doing all of their fancy Patreon backend stuff to... Uh, to you know, make it work. So I don't have any lists, but I will say thank you to all of those of you who have patronized over the past few days as well. Was not expecting it, especially given that I've been ill and the content has been much slower. But thank you for all of your support over there. Thank you to those of you who have continued on for another month. And welcome everybody who have joined us for another month. Hopefully we will have those lists available for tomorrow. So I'm going to do my regular old full-blown list readout, what I tend to do over here. We will be doing Patreon landed houses this series. So I want to make some friends along the way as an unlanded character, or maybe even just a small-time baron or something. And those people we make friends with, those courtiers that we go on adventures with and whatnot, those will be the ones that you patrons get to uh, get to pick and name and will eventually, obviously, land and incorporate into our new kingdom, hopefully. So... Stay tuned for that one. I'll start collecting names on Discord as and when. Uh, as and when maybe we get a little bit closer to the time. I don't want to start collecting this early on because maybe we'll die. You know, we could die tomorrow and our kid could die immediately. So it would be, uh, be a pretty poor show to start naming them now. But hey, wait and see how it works. Thank you all for watching. See you all tomorrow.